Hello, well, here's a good subject for the uh, five minute, hmm, yes or no treatment. Uh, the question is this, uh, should we pay reparations? Well, uh, the background is this, uh, rich countries that benefited greatly from slavery should pay some form of re recompense uh, to the black community and specifically to the descendants of those who were enslaved. Uh, slavery, we have to admit, enabled both the US and the UK to become great economic powers and we owe something to those whose labor helped to enable it. Reparations would play, pay black Americans and black Brits for the lost wages of their ancestors and for the subsequent unpleasant policies of segregation, mass incarceration, and so forth that have apparently perpetuated the wealth gap. So what are the yes arguments? That is, uh, what are those that uh, support the idea in favor of paying reparations? Well, first of all, it's simply the discharge of a moral obligation to those who've been uh, disadvantaged and oppressed. Uh, slavery was a policy of, well, unimaginable cruelty and immorality and and we should now face up to that and do something about it. Uh, the rightness of this, uh, this policy is underlined by the growing support for it. Uh, members of Congress in America are now beginning to discuss the idea, as are some local communities like California, Chicago, Evanston, Illinois. It's being talked about widely. But there's also a precedent for this. Native Americans, Japanese internment victims both received reparations in the U.S. Other countries uh, have addressed these questions. Um, South Africa set up its Truth and Reconciliation Commission and paid reparations to victims of apartheid. Germany paid a great deal of money to the Jewish community in Israel in the aftermath of the Second World War. So in sum, it's not all that unreasonable a proposition and there's a strong moral argument for it. Well, but what about those who would say, no, why should we? <laughs> what are their arguments? Well, number one is the notion that no living British or American citizen was part of any of this behavior and therefore the imposition of such a penalty is unjust and irrelevant. Second, well, there's no point in doing it because those who are, were enslaved are dead. There's also uh, the idea that the Civil War actually was an act of atonement itself because of the many people who died in defense of the principle of eliminating slavery. And then finally, uh, those who have not benefited from slavery should not be burdened with a penalty which they don't deserve. As a result, very few Americans favor this. The, sim the situation is similar in the UK. Well, so far as my take is concerned, I would say that many countries, including the UK and the US, I must say, have a lot to be ashamed about. And it must be acknowledged that these countries greatly benefited uh, from slavery, and uh, it seems to me that we are thus called upon to do something. I would suggest, uh, Example, that we have a system targeting those who can prove descent from slaves, which is probably most black people in both countries, and then provide them with something constructive and in keeping with gaining economic advantage. We could offer free education at both the secondary and university level and fund it by contributions from people who simply see it as the right thing to do, from organizations that benefited from slavery and even from public sector finance. That sounds to me both fair and constructive. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm not sure everyone will agree with what I've said on this one, but there it is. If you liked it, please give me a like, comment, subscribe, notify, and all that, and I'll see you at the next one.